Kizazi kipya chairuka Kenya Chasonga mbele chasonga mbele kwangu Kizazi kipya chairuka Kenya Chasonga mbele chasonga mbele kwangu Kizazi kipya Kizazi kipya chairuka Kenya Hey, 
Bwana ndiyo sababu sisi tuko hapa. Bwana tunalishukuru jina lako tunaliinua. Maana hatujepewa jina lingine Bwana. Hatujepewa wokovu mwingine bali ni wokovu wa Yesu Kristo. Bwana mchana wa leo tukupatia sifa na utukufu Bwana. Mchana wa leo Bwana twanyenyekea mbele zako tukijua ni wewe tu Bwana. Hakuna mwingine tuweza kukimbilia Bwana. Hatuna msaada mwingine Bwana. Tuliacha vyote Bwana tukufuata wewe na hatutarudi nyuma tena Bwana kwa vile ambavyo tuliviacha bali tuakaza mwendo Bwana ili tuweze kufikia ahadi zetu Bwana ahadi ulizotuwekea e Jehova pokea sifa na utukufu e Bwana pokea sifa na utukufu e Bwana unastahili Bwana kuabudiwa yes unastahili unastahili Bwana unastahili Bwana Una style bwana ibada moyo yetu ibada moyo yetu bwana twakuletea bwana twakuletea bwana twakuletea bwana twakuletea hatuna kingine ambacho tutafanya bali kuleta ibada mbele zako kujenyekea mbele zako kuanguka mbele zako bwana kuabudu wewe tu maana ni wewe we. ni wewe na ni wewe bwana ni wewe na ni wewe bwana ni wewe hata waseme Bwana waseme nini Bwana hatutarudi nyuma Bwana hatutegeuza alia zetu pale Bwana tutakuangalia tu siku zote tutakuangalia Bwana tutakuangalia Bwana tutakuangalia wewe tu Bwana tutakuangalia Bwana na kuinua mioyo yetu kwako Bwana tutaleta ibada zetu kwako Bwana sifa za mioyo yetu tutaleta kwako Bwana tutatenyekea mbele zako maana bwana hatuna kingine twaweza kwenda bwana oh pokea sifa pokea sifa na utukufu jehova hakuna mungu mwingine kama wewe hakuna wa kuabudiwa bwana hakuna wa kuabudiwa mwingine bwana hakuna mwimbaji akasema ametafuta na akazunguka kila mahali hakupata mwingine na kweli bwana hakuna mwingine Hakuna mwingine pembe zote za ulimwengu Bwana. Hakuna mwingine. Hakuna mwingine. Hata wale pao Bwana wanasema kwamba hakuna Mungu. Matatizo yakiwatokea Bwana wanaanza kutafuta Mungu yuko wapi? Lakini sisi tulikupata maana Bwana uliingia ndani ya mioyo yetu na ukatubadilisha, ukatufanya kuwa wana Bwana na hatugeuki aturudi nyuma bali Bwana tuko na wewe. Ha! Sasa Bwana hata milele tuko na wewe Bwana sifa za mioyo yetu itaiba sifa zako Bwana mioyo yetu itaiba sifa zako Nanta mahaba baba baba la bosete bahara Nanta mahaba baba la bosete bahara Nina mahaba la bosete bahara masantana Nanta mahaba baba la bosete bahara Oh twainua jina lako haleluya haleluya Bwana pokea sifa pokea utukufu haleluya kama umeketi tafadhali ukasimame hautamwabudu Bwana ukiwa katika starehe eh iluka mwabudu Bwana na nguvu ambazo ametia ndani ya mwili wako kwenye miguu yako ha mwinulie Bwana sifa baada bado uko na nguvu bado uko na miaka ya kumuishia Bwana ya kumchezea hata ya kumkimbilia mwabudu mchana wa leo maana anaangalia wale wanaomwabudu katika roho na kweli na bahara bose bahara Bwana tutakusifu Bwana tutakuinua Bwana tutakimbilia wewe tu tutakukimbilia Bwana tutakukimbilia tu Bwana tutakukimbilia tu wewe Bwana wewe ni maficho yetu haleluya wewe ni maficho yetu Bwana wewe ni ngome yetu Bwana oh mchana wa leo Bwana pokea sifa pokea sifa Bwana na tamba hana masaba hana bu rama santa tara bo sifa hana ma rena mahaba baba baba la bo sifa hana bi Rita na basi poto poro bodira Waimba jishikaneri na mcheza vyombo muimba wimbo huu anaucheza Rata na baba 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 bosetelele ubushanda maha 
Bwana anatutumia tu hao watoto ni vyombo. Yes. Haleluya. Yes. Eh, wenye vyombo hawa wenye mitambo wamezunguka kila mahali ni vyombo Bwana anatumia. Haleluya. Bwana anatumia apate sifa. Haleluya. Na wewe ukija mbele zake mpatie Bwana sifa. Daudi alikuwa ni mwalimu wa kwanza aliyetufundisha jinsi ya kumpatia Bwana sifa. Alimpatia sifa hakujali mavazi yanaanguka ama ya kuanguka. Yes. Wajua siku hizo hatukuvaa mavazi kama haya tuliyovaa siku ya leo ambayo ya kustiri vizuri. Siku hiyo ilikuwa ni mavazi ya kujifunga kwa mwenye mwili kama vile unajifunga shuka ama leso. Daudi akawa amejifunga na uwepo wa Bwana ulipozidi, Daudi akasahau kwamba alikuwa na mavazi. Akasema kitu muhimu ni kumchezea Bwana. Haleluya. Mavazi yakaanguka Daudi hakuona aibu, hakufuata mavazi bali alimfuata Mwenyezi Mungu. Haleluya. Na ndio sababu tuko hapa kumfuata Mwenyezi Mungu. Haleluya. Siku ya leo ni siku ya furaha kubwa. Maana Bwana ametenda jambo jipya kwa kila mmoja wetu. Amen. Wangapi wanasema wametendewa leo? Amen. Wangapi wametendewa leo? Umetendewa leo? Haleluya. Amen. Kuna miujiza hapa ya kila aina. Yes. Kila mmoja ana muujiza wake. Hata nikipitia chombo hiko kila mmoja wetu hapa, itafika jioni kabla ijefika kwenye, kwenye watoto wako upande huu mwingine. Maana watu wametendewa. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Na asubuhi leo tunafurahia kwa kila mmoja wetu. Hata wale wanaotufuata kwenye uh, social media popote pale mnaposikizia, tunawakaribisha sana tunawapenda. Na zi, zaidi ya hivyo Bwana anawapenda zaidi. Haleluya. Hebu tuwapigie makofi hawa watazamaji wetu. Piga makofi na shangwe wasikie kwamba mpo. Haleluya. Hey. Ni sehemu ya kanisa hili, lakini wako sehemu mbali, lakini ni sehemu yetu. Haleluya. Na tunawapenda sana. Fatizia mahubiria leo na maisha yako hayatabaki vile vile. Haleluya. Nataka tuchukue viti vyetu kwa muda kidogo. Uh, watoto wetu waimbaji tunawashukuru. Baada ya watoto kumkumaliza ministry yao mtapanda hapa juu uh, kwa worship ba kabla ya mahubiri. Tu, tuweke mikono yetu pamoja tukaribisha watoto wa Light to the Nations. Wako na nyimbo mbili wanataka kubariki Bwana nazo kwa hivyo uh, tuwakaribishe tuwakaribishe. Mbona makofi yamefifia kwa haraka? Hawa watoto angalia vile wanavyongara wanangara ama wangari they are beautiful praise god where are girls parents kwani nyinyi kanisa hili muli muli mamuku zao wasichana bwana asifiwe wasichana wasichana wako wawili kuna msichana mwingine yani kanisa hili halina wasichana wasichana walienda wapi wa mama wasichana wenu Check wengine wamekeki kama we like the nations Bwana asifiwe. Panda hapa juu. Light to the nations amba mekete auna uniform kimbia huku juu mara moja. Uniform itakupata mbele mbele. Au kimbia nitakuja kutoa mahali penye umeketi maana na kuona. Kimbia ndio wazazi watanunua uniform haraka. Mukiketi pale hawatanunua. Bwana asifiwe. Light to the nations kimbia ni eh mmoja unaona wasichana wengine ndio wale wame hapa juu. Wazazi waone kwamba mahitaji kupata uniform. Wapigia watoto makofi watapata uniform zao. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Na yeyote nani mwingine anataka kuingia Light to the Nations umeketi kule wataka kuingia Light to the Nations. Unatamani, unatamani kabisa. Hebu nione mikono. Wajua bado tunaonunua uniforms. We are still uh, this we we might most likely extend that that <tos> offer. <tos> Ilisha, Ilisha last month. Lakini tunafikiria to extend kwa ajili ya wale wengine. Kama unataka uniform uko kule, unjua watoto sijui walienda wapi. Wazazi watoto wenu muone wapeleka wapi? watoto bishop alisema ibada ya Jumapili ni ibada yetu na watoto wetu watoto wako wapi si hao hawa ni wakuimba na wale wengine wa kuketi kule wa Sunday school wako wapi msikose kuleta watoto siku ya Jumapili msiwaache nyumbani maana mkiwaacha nyumbani kule wanafundishwa na TV wanafundishwa na majirani wanafundishwa mambo ambayo huwezi kuyajua ukileta hapa labda neno moja liweza kubadilisha mtoto wako Bwana asifiwe. Na akatoka katika njia mbaya na akamtumikia Bwana. Asanteni a uh, ministry yenu endeleeni.
Amen. 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 Thank you children. Tuwapigia makofi watoto wetu. Amen. It's a blessing to be ministered by children. Hallelujah. Light to the nation has been in JCC for 20 years now. Praise God. We are starting in JCC Jomvu, but we've been there for 20 years, so we thank God for these children. Praise God. Worship team, please. After the children minister, you always come on the stage to prepare the service. The children shall be ministering every Sunday, so it should be our tradition. We know what we are supposed to do every team that is involved. Then we just worship the Lord. Let us stand on our feet, each one of us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, man. Who may no live at you? Who may no live at you? Who may no live at you?
Asante maana we ni mwaminifu Bwana. Asante maana una mpango mzuri kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Hata asubuhi ya leo Bwana uko hapa kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. Bwana tumekuja ili kwamba uweze kuturefresh Bwana. Ah uweze kunena na maisha yetu Jehova uweze kutubadilisha. Bwana tumekuja ili tuweze kukaribia zaidi. Maana wewe ni mtakatifu Bwana. Tumekuja Bwana uweze kutufundisha mambo yako e Jehova. Tumekuja ili tuweze kuwa watoto ambao ni watiifu Bwana wanaosikia sauti yako, wanaokufuata Bwana na kutenda mapenzi yako. Bwana asubuhi ya leo tunakupatia sifa na tunakupatia utukufu. Asante kwa kila mmoja Bwana ambayo umemwezesha kufika siku ya leo Bwana mbariki. Kuna wale Bwana wamekuja wakiwa na mahitaji kuna wale wamekuja bwana wakitarajia waguzwe na wewe kubadilishwa bwana kuna wale wamekuja tu jehova naomba kila mmoja aweze kukutana na wewe jehova neno lako liweze kunena na kila nafsi iliyo mahali hapa hata wanaofuatizia kipindi hiki bwana roho wako anene nao mahali popote walipo ili maisha yetu yaweze kubadilika yaweze kufanana na wewe e jehova pokea sifa na utukufu roho mtakatifu tunakupenda 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 na tunakuabudu bila wewe hatuwezi lolote asante roho mtakatifu kwamba utanitumia mchana wa leo kunena neno la Bwana maana neno hili ni lako e Bwana naweza kunena tu kupitia kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu ndo naitisha Bwana nguvu hizo zikashuke juu yangu ni nenapo bwana nisinene kwa sababu nimesoma maandiko bali ni nene kwa sababu umenifundisha maandiko pokea sifa na utukufu kwa Yesu tumeomba hata tukaamini amen haleluya tupige bwana shangwe shangwe haleluya mkaribishe mkaribishe aliye karibu na wewe mkaribishe mwambie karibu kwa ibada ya leo Mkaribishe mkaribishe mkaribishe. Haleluya. Tuna mgeni pale sijaona mtu yote akimkaribisha. Mkaribishe ndugu huyu ndugu huyo. Maana ni mgeni wetu, ahisi kwamba yuko mbele za Bwana. Asante, asante. Karibu sana ndugu yangu. Tuketi chini kila mmoja, tupale nafasi zetu keti ili Bwana aweze kunena na maisha yetu. Bwana asifiwe. Siku ya leo akwaya asanteni asanteni chukweni viti vyenu asante wakati mwingine mtu nawasahau asanteni leo sitahubiri peke yangu niko na mwenzangu ambaye atanisaidia kuhubiri ah ndugu kiteme tumpigia makofi bwana asifiwe atakuwa ni mkalimani atakuwa ni mkalimani unajua lugha ya Kiswahili ni nzuri ni lugha yetu lakini wakati mwingine ina utata kweli bwana asifiwe lakini tunashukuru Bwana kwa ajili ya Mungu ameopatia uwezo wa kuweza kutafsiri mambo haya. Bwana asifiwe. Na tutabarikiwa sote kwa pamoja. Amen. Uh, we welcome each one of us that has made it to come to this service today. Tunawakaribisha wale ambao waliwezeshwa kufika kwa ya siku ya leo. Feel at home and at the feet of Jesus. Jisikie ukiwa nyumbani na katika miguu yake Bwana Yesu Kristo. Today we want to learn the word of God very briefly. Leo tungependa kujifunza maandiko matakatifu kwa kifupi sana. Uh, this I don't know the translation of this word but my brother will help me. Uh, Stay positive. That is the heading of our, our message today. Stay positive. Positive. Tuwe na kufikiria kwa kisawa. Ah, thank you. Can you clap for this brother? Uh. Amen. Amen. If I ask you to give me that word positive in Swahili, it will be a little bit challenging, but this brother, God bless you. Amen. You're a good brother. Hallelujah. Stay positive. Tuka, Praise God. Tuwe tukifikiria mawazo ya kisawa. Yes, you stay positive. Yani you stay uh, you know when we talk about positive is somebody who's thinking right. Mtu anayewaza vizuri. Because if you don't think right, then uh, you are not positive. Kama utafikiria vinavyopaswa basi wewe basi utakuwa ukifikiria sawa. If you are disturbed, kama kuna kitu kinachokukera, 
then that disturbance will take away the presence of God. Therefore, you will not think positively about God. And you will discover most of the time when we go before God if our countenance and we cannot reflect on God properly. Even worshipping God becomes a problem. So you need to prepare your heart as you go before the Lord. You need to think about God as God not as any other person or any other power but think about him as God he has got no other like him he is the only one and this morning we want to talk about him a few things concerning God and what we are supposed to do when we remain positive uh, let's open in our Bibles in uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse number 8. Uh, in verse 8. Uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse number 8. Verse number 8. Uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse My brother will read in its Swahili. You follow in your English Bibles. Nitaweza kusoma wa Philippi ine msari wanane kwa lugha yetu wa kiswahili. Atimaye ndugu zangu mambo yote yaliyo ya kweli. Yoyote yaliyo ya star, yoyote yaliyo ya haki, yoyote yaliyo safi, yoyote yenye kupendeza, na yote yenye sifa njema, ukiwapo wema wowote, ikiwapo sifa nzuri yoyote ya tafakarini hayo. The Bible is talking about six things. Biblia inazungumza kuhusu mambo sita. Six areas of our lives. Same sita muhimu katika maisha yetu. And you discover that the last part of verse number 8. Na kifungu kile cha mwisho pale mstari wa 8. It says meditate on these things. Inatuambia kwamba tufikirie kuhusu mambo haya. So it involves your mind. Inatumia akili zetu. When you think about something, wakati unafikiria kuhusu kitu, the expectation is that that thing should change you. Matarajio ni kwamba jambo lile litakubadilisha wewe. Now what is it that you are thinking about? Wewe unafikiria na kuanza kusini. And what kusunini? change do you expect to happen to you? Na ni mabadiliko gani unahitaji katika maisha yako? Because if you think at something negatively, kama hautawaza vizuri, then that thing will affect you negatively. Jambo lile litakukwaza. If you think positively, vizuri, it will affect you positively. Na jambo And today mashara. we are talking about positive thinking. Na leo hii ya kisa wasa wa mazuri. You stay positive. Tukae tukiwaza mambo mazuri. You think well. Mazuri. About things that are going to profit you. Kwa mambo ambayo yataenda kukufaidi wewe. Now the Bible is talking about six things. Biblia inazungumza kuhusu maswala sita. And I want we look at these things and we see how they are affecting our lives. Na ningependa tuangalie tuone yanahusisha maisha yetu kwa njia gani. What are you thinking about? Wewe unawaza kuhusu nini? Even our children as young as they are. Hata watoto wetu hawa wanafikiria nini? Some people may think that kids never think. Wengine wanawaza kwamba watoto hawafikiri. But even as young as they are sometimes they are lost in thought. Lakini hata wakiwa wachanga vile wana mawazo ya kikwao. And you would wonder what is this kid thinking about? Na utashangaa hawa watoto wanawaza nini? And if you would ask them quietly, na kama utauliza kwa upole, they will tell you something. Watakueleza jambo. However much it may not make relevance to you. Hata kama ile jambo haitakuwa la muhimu kwako, but to them it has got some relevance. Lakini kwao ni mambo ya muhimu sana. Thinking is about is, is part of our lives. Kuwaza ni maisha yetu. You can never live without thinking. But then you should have a positive thinking. Things that are negative should never cross your mind. I know they will come. But when they come, the Bible is telling us about what we should think. It talks about being true. Inatueleza kwamba tufikirie kweli. Thinking about things that are truthful. Tufikirie mambo ambayo ni ya kisawa kweli. Things that talk truth. Mambo ambayo yanazungumza ukweli. Don't think about how you are going to frame a lie. Wewe usifikirie kudanganya. 
Because sometimes you would go and make a lie to win something. Wakati mwingine unaanza kwenda kudanganya ndio upate ushindi fulani. But the Bible says, lakini Biblia inasema, think truth. Tufikirie kisawasawa na ukweli. What is true? Tufikirie kusema kweli. Whatever it is. Hata kama ni jambo gani that has got truth into it. Ambayo ni ya kikweli think about it fikiria jambo kama hilo because ilo. it will reform your life kwa sababu itabadilisha maisha yako it will change yako. your thinking itabadilisha it mawazo yako it will change you completely itakubadilisha kabisa but if you keep yourself to think about things that are lies lakini ukifikiria mambo ambayo ni ya uongo you see the father of lies is the devil unajua kwamba baba wa uongo ni shetani so whenever you think about things that are lies kwa hiyo ukifikiria mambo ya kudanganya i mean everyone need to get this even our young children hata watoto nyinyi mfikirie mambo haya if you think about things that are lies kama utafikiria mambo ya kudanganya then you are thinking about what the devil is doing wewe unafikiria kama mawazo kama yale ya shetani i mean you just simply we cannot really we don't want to use this it is a, a little bit unfortunate to use it but you will discover that You are thinking like let me use it uh it is a bit harsh but you find that you are thinking like your father wewe kama utakuwa na mawazo yale potofu basi ni jambo ambalo si rahisi kusema lakini ni kama wewe unafikiria kama baba yako ambaye ni huyo shetani hey, your father the devil is shetani, the father of all lies ni yeye baba wa uongo god is the god of all truth Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa kikweli. So if you think things that are lies, kama utakuwa unafikiria mambo ya uongo, then who is celebrating behind you? Ni nani anasherekea pale kanto yako? The devil is clapping hands. Shetani anaridhika na kufurahia. Because you have gotten out of the way. Kwa sababu umeingia kwa njia zile anataka yeye. But I come to tell you this morning. Lakini anakuja kukwambia hivi asubuhi leo. Get into the way. Wewe ingia katika njia. Get into truth ya kikweli put away any every lying tongue wacha mambo ya kudanganya na mambo ya uongo if somebody may come to you kama mtu atakuja kwako with anything that it may be kama jambo ile inaweza kuwa kama hivi and he's trying to seduce you na anataka kukuingiza katika masuala kama hayo don't yale. go by a lying person ndusiende na usiweze kuungana na mtu ambaye anaenda kudanganya it doesn't matter how sweet they are going to tell you hata kama jambo lile lina ladha nzuri namna gani tell them i'm not part of your lies waambie wewe hautahusika katika mambo ya kudanganya because i know who god is kwa sababu wewe unajua mungu ni nani and i will not by any way na hakuna kwa njia yoyote i will stray from god nitaenda kinyume na mungu wangu in proverbs 1:10 katika kitabu cha methali 1:10 It says my son inasema wewe mwana wangu if sinners entice you kama wale ambao ni wa, wenye dhambi watakuingiza do not consent usiingie kwa mambo yao who are sinners wenye dhambi ni akina nani they never talk about truth awaozungumzi mambo ya kikweli they will always take, talk about things that will take you out of your way wataongea kuhusu mambo ambayo yatakupeleka kinyume na Mungu wetu praise god amen And if they win, na kama watashinda, you will get out of the way. Wewe utatoka kwa njia ya Mungu. So think about truth. Wewe fikiria kuhusu ukweli. And truth will help you. Na ukweli utakusaidia wewe. The Bible says we should think about what is noble. Wewe Biblia inasema tufikirie mambo ambayo ni ya kikadri. What is noble? Quality, something that is a valuable. Hallelujah. Jambo ambalo lina ubora. A noble person is somebody of value. Mtu ambaye ni wakadri ni mtu ambaye anadhamana. Is noble we call them noble. Ni watu ambao wanaitwa ni watu wa kikadiri. Because their status is high. Kwa sababu hali yao ni ya kijuu kidogo. The Bible says. Biblia inasema hivi. When you think think about noble things that are high. Wewe wakati unafikiria fikiria mambo ambayo yako juu kidogo. Praise God. Amen. Don't think about things that are below diminishing usifikirie kuhusu mambo ya chini mambo yasiyo na dhamana if you think about building a house kama unafikiria kujenga nyumba go to an architect enda kwa yule ambaye ni fundi let him draw you a nice building akufanyie mchoro wa nyumba iliyo bora go at home there and start making a mad house usianze kwenda pale na kutengeneza kinyumba cha matope and you say you know i don't have money na useme kwamba hauna fedha i cannot afford to build a big house siwezi kujenga nyumba kubwa i just make a round thing nataka nitengeneze tu kitu cha kimvringo hivi just for me and my my, 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 my family chumba changu juu na jamii yangu you are thinking mediocrity 
Wewe unafikiria mambo ya kiduni sana. But don't think such like don't be in such kind of thoughts. Sikuwe na mawazo ya yale ya kiduni. Those are not positive. Mawazo yale si ya kisawasawa. Those are negative. Mawazo yale ni ya kiduni. They are not kiduni. about taking you anywhere. Haya takupeleka mbele. They are about pulling you back. Yale yanakurudisha nyuma. Making you always pity yourself. Yanakufanya uende chini. I mean you just talk about how, 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 how things are bad in your life na kila saa unazungumza kuhusu vile mambo ni mabaya kwako wewe but talk about how god is about to promote you hallelujah zungumza vile mungu anaenda kukuinua wewe if you don't have a car kama hauna gari say god is going to give me a car ambia mungu nipe gari hallelujah amen you don't have money to buy the car Una... but in your dream you are seeing big things hallelujah Una fedha za kununua ile gari lakini mawazo yako That is what positiveness yako. is about Hiyo ndio kufikiria sawa au ilivyo Think noble Wewe fikiria vizuri Think noble Fikiria mambo ya kisawa sawa Think of quality hallelujah Fikiria dhamani The devil will want us pity party every day with just thing about destruction Shetani kila wakati anatupeleka katika miereka ya kufikiria kuhusu kuanguka All the time you think about how you did not make it in life ya kuona kwamba vile wewe haujafaulu how you will not make it na vile hautafaulu i mean if i never made in life kama mimi nitaweza katika maisha i will strive ataangalia i will never give up atachoka hallelujah amen probably the car that you want to buy is your son is going to buy it labda gari ile unataka kununua mtoto wako ndiye atainunua speak about it ongea kuhusu hiyo gari speak about big things big 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 hallelujah kuhusu mambo makubwa makubwa our god is a big god mungu wetu ni mungu mkuu when you think big wakati and even your children here you think big they also think big kama watoto wako watakusikia ukifikiria mambo makuu nao pia watafikiria mambo makuu in the midst of what is happening hata kama kunaendelea nini and you are talking big na wao wanaongea kuhusu mambo makuu they talk big things na wao wataongea kuhusu mambo makuu you hear son saying daddy when i grow up i'll buy a car utasikia mtoto wako akisema baba mimi nikikuwa mkubwa nitanunua why are they saying so because they hear that daddy saying i'll buy a car kwa nini wanasema hivyo kwa sababu baba yao anataka atanunua gari. And you are creating things in your children. Na unawaingiza mambo yale mazuri. And they work hard to make sure that they fulfill your dreams. Na watafanya bidii kutimiza ndoto yao. Hallelujah. Mm. It might be your child who will fulfill your dream. Don't think small. Labda pia ni wewe utatimiza hiyo ndoto usipige mambo ya chini. Small. Hallelujah. Mambo madogo. Noble. Fikiri Take your mind to another level. Praise God. Let us take ourselves to the next level. Kipeleke kwa hali nyingine. Hey, there is nothing that you should think that is bringing you down. Don't think about it. Usifikirie mawazo ya kukupeleka chini kabisa kabisa kabisa. The Bible says the third thing. Biblia inasema hivi. Think about what is right. Fikiria mambo yaliyo sawa. What is right? Kile kilicho sawa. Connect yourself with what is right. Jiunganishe na kile kilicho sawa. Anything that is not right. Kile ambacho hakiko sawa. And by the way the word righteousness ile neno kwamba utakatifu comes from comes the first the first few letters of the righteousness is right ile inaanza na uhaki and righteousness is actually being right na hiyo ni kuwa kuwa sawa so when you are right wewe ukiwa sawa you are not only right because you never did a mistake hauko sawa kwa sababu haukufanya kosa lolote you are right because you are seeking the righteousness of god lakini uko sawa kwa sababu unatafuta usawa wa mungu what is going to make you change you kile are kita, thinking and you start thinking about him kile kitakubadilisha uanze kufikiria kuhusu yeye mungu wewe so what are we looking for we are looking for a right mind sisi tunaangalia akili ile iko sawa mind that is right before god mawazo yaliyo sawa mbele ya mungu a right mind that will bring down the glory of god akili inayofikiria mambo yaliyo sawa mbele ya mungu that's why the bible says ndio biblia inasema hivi god loves those who worship in the spirit and in the truth mungu anapenda wale wanaamini na kumwabudu kwa kweli na akili how do you do that utafanya vivi hivi with the right mind ukiwa na akili ya kisawa if you don't have a right mind kama una akili ya kisawa you will never discover how to worship in the spirit hautajua kuabudu katika roho seek every righteousness na kuangalia haki ya bwana your mind thinks about what is right akili yako ifikiria yaliyo sawa and the first right thing is righteousness of god na jambo la kwanza ni utakatifu wa bwana hallelujah amen let us pass the, the next thing says purity ile ingine ni kuhusu usafi pure a heart that does not have any guilt roho ambayo haina uchafu wote even if people people are trying to look for any guilt in you they try to uh, by 
dissect you to do anything to fight any guilt thing they don't discover anything hata watu wakitafuta mabaya katika roho yako wa kufanyia upasuaji hawatapata chochote they talk and talk na wataongea na waongee at the end of the day na mwisho wa siku they just come up saying this lady she is pure watasema huyu dada huyu dada ni wa haki kweli we never find her in groups hatuja mpata na dosari lolote she never backbites yeye haendi akizungumza mambo ya kimbea his brother is a good brother huyu ndugu ni ndugu wa kisawasawa he loves god anapenda mungu he has a pure heart ana roho safi if you go to him when you have a need ukienda kwake ukiwa na mahitaji he will be open atakufungulia milango if he milango. doesn't have kama hana he will say i don't have atakwambia kwamba hana with a pure heart una moyo safi not deceiving you wewe hautajidanganya kwako he doesn't say i don't have deceiving you hata kudanganya kwamba hana he says the truth anasema ukweli and if he doesn't have na kama hana kweli you leave that place with a joyful heart muamini na utatoka hapo kwa na roho ya this brother kwa sababu ndugu huyu and this sister na huyu dada has a pure heart wana roho safi praise god amen These are the things that you need to think about. Hizi ndio siku tunafaa kufikiria hivi. Think about having a pure heart. Fikiria kuwa na roho nzuri. And we're just about to read a scripture here. Tunaenda kusoma maandiko hapa. Which will help us now how we are going to reach these places. Ambayo itatusaidia kufika sehemu hizi. The other thing the Bible talks about is the fifth thing is lovely. Ile jambo lingine ambalo Biblia inasema ni kuzu upendo. Lovely. Kupenda. You know when you talk about love you're talking about love. Inapoongea kuzu mapenzi naongea kuzu upendo. And the truth of the matter. Na ukweli wa mambo. God or Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo talked about uh, the commandment he summarized them all into two but using one word. Aliweza kunakilisha yale ma, ma, zile sheria za Mungu na kwa jambo moja tu. And that was love. Na hiyo ilikuwa ni upendo. Love covers everything. Upendo unakamilisha kila kitu. Even if I'm so bad. Hata kama mimi ni muovu. And you have love. Na wewe una upendo. You will not see my my, my bad side. Au utaona ubaya ulio ndani yangu. You will accept me with my crookedness. Utanikubali na huo uovu ulio ndani. And you will help me get out of my mess. Na utanisaidia kutoka sehemu hiyo. Because you have love. Kwa sababu wewe una Think upendo. Think about loving somebody. Ifikirie kuhusu kupenda mtu. That is the right gospel that we need, we need to take forward. Hiyo ndio injili tunayoipeleka mbele. Gospel of love. Injili ya kupenda. Don't think about hates. Wewe usianze kufikiria kuhusu Think about love. Fikiria kuhusu mapenzi. If you don't have anybody that you love. Kama una mtu unayependa. Today find one person. Tafuta mtu mmoja leo. Today find one person. Tafuta mtu mmoja leo. And show love. Na umuoneshe upendo. Show compassion. Umuoneshe ukaribu. Hallelujah. Amen. Love think about it. Fikiria kuhusu kupenda. Hey, think about loving somebody. Fikiria kuhusu kupenda. However mtu. difficult it is. Hata kama itakuwa ngumu vipi. Just think about loving that person. Fikiria kuhusu kumpenda mtu. He may be or she may be doing things that you hate. Labda kuna mambo ambayo anayafanya atakusaidia. Even if you correct that person. Na utamsaidia yule mtu. Even if you correct that person. Hata kama utaenda kumrekebisha he still does the same mistake. Hata rekebisha kwa usawa. He still does the same mistake. Hata atarudia ile jambo tena. Over and over. Tena na tena. Doing the same mistake. Hata endelea kufanya ile jambo baya. You bayo. correct that person. Unamrekebisha kila wakati. He repeats the same mistake. Atarudia tena. You correct him again. Unamrekebisha tena. He repeats the same mistake. Anarudia ile makosa. Don't put hatred into your heart. Usi, usiweke chuki ndani ya roho yako. Think and say how will I make this person change? Fikiria vile utambadilisha yule ndugu. That is love. Huo ni upendo. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The hardest nut to crack which is love. Ile jambo ngumu kufanya ambayo ni upendo. When you think about it look for another formula to love. Tafuta njia ingine ya kupenda. How you should just love unconditionally. Vile utapenda bila kuweka sheria zozote. The Bible says. Biblia inasema hivi. The point number 6 Six is admirable. Ile jambo la sita ni jambo la kupendeza. Admirable. Kupendeza. Are people admiring you? Je, watu wanamvuto kwako? Is there anything that people are admiring in your life? Kuna kitu ambacho watu wanavutwa nacho kwako. If you stand in the midst of people that know you. Wewe ukisema mama kati ya watu ambao wanakujua. And you ask them. Na ukiwauliza What value or virtue can you see in me? Ni jambo gani mnaona ndani yangu? Will they say anything that 
is admirable. Look for something that people will admire in you. Hallelujah. And by the way, we are all different. We are all different. The thing that I can do to my brother is not the same thing that I do to my sister. Or it's not the same thing that my brother will do to me. We are all different and special. Praise God. Amen. Don't be like the other person. Be like yourself. Let somebody find something admirable in you. Hallelujah. These are simple things. But they are the best principles of us being able to spread this gospel. Because this is not only for those who are going to church like me and you. But it's for the society that we are living with. These six things that we have talked about. Make sure that they are part of your life. They are part of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs 23, uh, the seventh verse. It uh, says, uh, Katika kitabu cha medhali, tatu, What a man thinks he becomes. Kile waza, ndicho atakacho kuwa Whatever ye. you think, Kile wewa this mind is very powerful. Akili hii yetu ni ya muhimu sana. For as he thinks, Kama wewa fikiria, in his heart, na roho yako, so he is. Utakuwa vile eat and drink. Wewe he, kula na unye, he says to you, Kwako, his heart is not with you. What you think in your heart is you. That's why we are talking about making it positive. Because if you don't think positively, then the negative thought that is in you is what's going to come out. And people will know you out of what comes in from your heart. Think positively. Hallelujah. Amen. God also he thinks about us. It is not only us who thinks. God has, a, God has a mind that thinks. Pia Mungu anatuwaza sisi. He thinks about us. Anatufikiria sisi. Jeremiah 29:11. Ukisoma Jeremiah 29:11. A very common scripture. E, kifungu kile kinatueleza vizuri. God also thinks about you. Mungu wetu anatuwaza sisi. He has got plans about you. Ana mipango mizuri kwetu sisi. The Bible says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you says the Lord thoughts of peace not of evil to give you a future and a hope you see God thinks also now if God has got a mind that thinks who are you not to think? And what would you think? Look look at what God is thinking. The Bible says that the thoughts of God are thoughts of peace. And there are also other thoughts that God is not involved in. He says thoughts of peace are not of evil. So it means we have got other thoughts that are evil. And each of the thoughts produces either thoughts of peace either thoughts of peace or thoughts of evil they all produce. The source is actually in verse 11 that we've just read. God says he thinks about us thoughts of peace. And to give us a future and a hope. Contrary to that is thoughts that are evil. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we clap for my brother? He's Amen. trying, he's trying. Let me give him a break a little bit. I will give him, you know, you know, you know, we are training him. Hallelujah. Can you clap for him? He's doing well, he's doing well. Hallelujah. Bwana anawaza mawazo. 
kukuhusu wewe bwana asifiwe mawazo bwana anawaza haleluya usifikirie kwamba mungu hawazi ila mawazo ya mungu biblia inasema ni mawazo ya amani haleluya nataka upate point hapo nataka upate point ukipata point hii itatusaidia kwa sababu mafundisho yetu ni kufikiria kuwa na mawazo mazuri kufikiria vizuri haleluya kuwa na mtazamo wenye tumaini mambo kufikiria mambo mazuri lakini mambo haya tunayoyafikiria Mungu pia ana mawazo haleluya na kuna mwingine pia ana mawazo maana Mungu amesema kwamba mawazo yake ni ya amani bali si mawazo ya uovu Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo kuna mawazo mengine na ukichukua mstari huu chukua mawazo ya amani weka ndani yako ukiweka ndani yako itatoa matunda ya kufikiria mambo mazuri Bwana asifiwe ukikataa Asante ndugu yangu naona umenekea tafsiri ya Kiswahili wacha nisome kwa Kiswahili maana na yajua mawazo ninayowaazia nyinyi asema Bwana ni mawazo ya amani wala si mabaya Bwana asifiwe kuwapa nyinyi tumaini siku zenu za mwisho haleluya Mungu ana mawazo Mawazo ya Mungu ni mawazo ya amani. Haleluya. Hapa tumesoma vipengele sita vya vile neno linatuambia tufikirie. Ukiweka amani ya Mungu ndani yako, anakuwa ni chanzo cha wewe kuanza kufikiria mambo mema. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini mabaya, mabaya kiingia ndani yako ambayo ni matunda ya shetani, unaanza kufikiria mambo maovu usikubali mabaya yaingie ndani yako haleluya tusikubali mambo ya shetani yakaingia ndani yetu maana shetani kwa kila mahali atakupatia mawazo wakati mwingine eh wajua mambo haya hufanyika katika nyumba hizi zetu utaamka asubuhi haujui haujielewi mtoto ametoka pale kwa ameamka ame, 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 ame anaenda bathroom kuoga labda amesahau akavaa viatu visivyo vyake mama ajui ametoka wapi ajale maneno anamrushia mtoto yule mtoto anashangaa nilikosa lipi nimefanya mpaka mama ako mkali kama pilipili ni kwa sababu gani mama ameruhusu mawazo mabaya yaingie ndani yake na yakiingia ndani yake si mama tu hata mzee mtu yeyote yakiingia ndani yake anaanza kutoa matamshi bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe. Let me tell you one thing, brethren. I want we get this seriously. You see I'm talking, isn't it? Bwana asifiwe. What you can only hear is my voice. You cannot see my voice. You cannot see my voice. Hallelujah. If I put this thing up Praise God. If I do like this now they can hear me because now I'm speaking. What I'm speaking comes from inside me. Hallelujah. Now, if inside of me is dirty, what is going to come outside me? This mouth eh, speaking and projecting it. Ikileta mambo haya nje, italeta mambo yale yametoka ndani. Disposa Mungu anasema ndani ya moyo. Hallelujah. Ana mawazo mazuri kuhusu sisi moyo wake yani ndani ya Mungu ni moyo ambao una mawazo mazuri na ikiwa ni mawazo mazuri mambo mazuri yanatokea ndani ndio maana anaongea kuhusu baraka kukubariki kukusawisha na tutasoma mambo haya kuna mambo mengi ambayo tutasoma siku ya leo kama muda tutupatia utatupatia nafasi yale ambayo Mungu anafanya haleluya mpe Mungu nafasi ndani ya maisha yako Mawazo ya kija ndani kwa, kwa, kwa kwako wewe ukiongea usikiza maneno unayoyasema hata kwa watoto wako kwa mume wako ama kwa mke wako kwa rafiki yako kwa jirani yule sikiza maneno unayoyasema ukitambua maneno haya yafanane na mimi 
funga mdomo wako mara moja. Bwana asifiwe. Maana shetani ataingia na bila wewe kujua ameingia. Anaingia kwa nia yako. Akiingia kwa nia yako anakuwekea maneno ndani yako. Anafanya ulimi wako unatamka. Ukifikiria ni wewe unatamka, kumbe unatamka akili ya shetani na unapanda mbegu mbaya. Bwana asifiwe. Ukisikia sire imekuja na maneno yanatoka ndani yako si mazuri, nyamaza wakati huo, funga mdomo wako. Ruhusu Roho Mtakatifu aku, a, 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 aweze kukunenea na kukupatia amani. Amani ikishaingia tatua jambo ambalo lilikuwa mbele yako. Bwana asifiwe. Maana ni mawazo. Unapata mtu baba aliamka asubuhi na mawazo mabotovu, mawazo mabaya, mawazo ya kuua. Anachukua panga, anatafuta mke wake anamkata kata mke aliyempenda akamzalia watoto. Anamkata kweli kabisa. Hata anamuua anatafuta watoto wako wapi anawakata watoto wake walio wazuri kabisa kwa sababu gani mawazo mapotovu yameingia ndani yake na akifanya hivyo anasema ni mimi mtajua mimi ni nani wewe ni nani anayeongea ndani yako si wewe anayeongea ndani yako ni shetani haleluya na haya mambo wapendwa yanakuja kwa jamii zetu mzee atamka asubuhi siku moja mke wake aje, aje mkosee jambo lolote lakini amejawa na hasira ambazo sijui zilitoka wapi tulia Bwana asifiwe maana ni mawazo mabaya yanaingia ndani yako tulia tulia sema huyu si mimi tulia Bwana asifiwe ruhusu ma- mawazo ya Bwana yaingie ndani yako haleluya the bible says hebu tu tusome kifungu cha uh, Joshua Joshua mstari wa kwanza Mlango wa kwanza mstari wa nane Joshua moja nane Kitabu hiki cha Torah ambacho ndicho hiki Biblia Bwana asifiwe Kitabu hiki Wengine kimeandikwa hapa Kitabu hiki Bwana asifiwe Na kama una kitabu hicho tafuta Haleluya Kitafute. Biblia inasema kitabu hiki cha Torati kisiondoke kinywani mwako bali yatafakari maneno yake mchana na usiku. Haleluya. Upate kuangalia kutenda sawa sawa na maneno yote yaliyoandikwa mmo. Maana ndipo utakapofanikisha njia yako kisha ndipo utakapostawi sana Bwana asifiwe kumbe kuna siri ya kuwa na mawazo mazuri siri ya mawazo mazuri ni neno la Bwana haleluya neno la Bwana ndilo siri Biblia inasema kitabu hiki kwa kwa, kwa tafsiri nyingine tunasema neno hili haleluya lisiondoke ndani yako ukitafakari ukilifikiria usiku na mchana maisha yako yatabadilika haleluya hautakuwa na nafasi ya kutenda mambo yasiyo kuwa mazuri maana kitakapotoka kitakachotoka ndani yako ni chemi chemi uzuri haleluya utatoka uwema au utatoka upendo watu watakuangalia waseme huyu yuko tofauti Bwana asifiwe. Kwa nini? Maana umeweka maneno ya kitabu ya Biblia ndani ya roho yako. Haleluya! Eh, Biblia inasema mambo haya yakifanyika ndipo utakapofanikisha njia yako. Haleluya! Kumbe mawazo ukiwa na mawazo mazuri njia zako zinaanza kufanikiwa. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, nisaidie nikuhubiri jameni. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, wajua sinisiwe peke yangu nitapoteza sauti. Haleluya. Neno la kitabu hiki, neno la Biblia likiwa ndani yako, ndipo utakapofanikisha njia yako. Maana mawazo ya Mungu yataanza kutiririka ndani yako. 
Tumesoma Yeremia 29 mstari wa moja kwamba Mungu anatuwazia mema. Hivyo Mungu akituwazia mema, e, yale mema anayotuwazia yanatoka ndani yetu pia kama mtu. Bwana asifiwe kwa sababu tumeweka neno lake. Anasema neno hili ulitafakari. Ulitafakari, ulifikirie. Hebu tuone. Amesema ulitafakari asubuhi peke yake, sivyo? Litafakari mchana peke yake? Ama tulitafakari hata jioni tu peke yake? Haya, tulitafakari watoto. Tulitafakari tukaenda kulala. Kweli? Watoto wa, wa, sijui kama wako na mimi. Haleluya. Waje watoto ni ba, ni is part of this service. Watoto neno linasema neno hili tulitafakari usiku na mchana. Tulifikirie usiku na mchana. Haleluya. Sio usiku peke yake, si mchana wala si asubuhi peke yake kila wakati. Na litafanikisha njia yako kisha ndipo utakapostawi, utakapostawi utakapo stawi sana haleluya nimesema ustawi wako usije ukawa ni mtu kulalamika maana Mungu aje kufikisha mahali unataka kufika wewe kuwa na ndoto ya kile ambacho ungependa Mungu akufanyie na kiombe Bwana asifiwe kiombe usiku na mchana Daudi alipotaka kujenga hekalu alipenda sana kumjengea Mungu hekalu Mungu akamwambia ah Daudi hautanijengea hekalu. Maana mikono yako imejaa damu. Bali mtoto wako ambaye atakuwa ni mfalme wa Israeli ndiye atakaye nijengea hekalu. Nani alikuwa anatamaya kujenga hekalu? Ni, ni Solomoni ama ni Daudi? Bwana asifiwe. Situongee pamoja. Nani alikuwa na mawazo ya kumjengea Mungu hekalu? Ni Daudi. Aliyejenga hekalu ni nani? Sulemani. Bwana asifiwe. Si Daudi alijenga hekalu. Aliyejenga hekalu alikuwa ni mtoto wake. Wewe kuwa na mawazo ambapo kila unataka kuwa na mawazo na kione. Haleluya. Atakayefaidika anaweza kuwa si wewe bali mtoto wako atapata hiyo faida. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo hauna nafasi ya kulalamika. Ah unasema mimi siendeshi gari. Jameni miaka zinapita sijapata. Ah ah sema gari inakuja. Haleluya. Sema nitaendesha gari isipokuwa ah, mtoto wangu aliniambia siku moja dadi nitakapomalesho nitanunua gari na nitakunulia pia we gari. Haleluya. Na bado anasoma shule 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 hizi. Maana kila siku naambia eh hey, nitanunua gari. Nitanunua miaka inaenda haije kuja lakini hata ikienda na haije kuja bado ninasema nitanunua nini gari haleluya haleluya na jenga imani ndani ya watoto wangu maana pia hao sasa wataongea magari hata usipoyaona na yatakuja katika siku zao kama yatakuja katika siku zangu bwana asifiwe ndipo utakapostawi sana haleluya Haleluya. Ndipo utakapostawi sana. Eh, Ibrahimu anaaidiwa na Mungu. Anaambia utakuwa ni baba wa mataifa. Mzee wa miaka tisaini anapata mtoto. Ah, miaka hiyo auone uzuri wa watoto. Unashangaa mambo haya Mungu alieniambia nitayaona lini? Lakini si wewe utakayeridhi uzuri huo, bali ni watoto na vizazi vyako. Haleluya. Furahia ndani ya Bwana. Maana ahadi za Bwana azivunjiki. Tunaimba kila saa ahadi za Bwana azivunjiki milele na hazitawahi kuvunjika maisha ni mwako. Haleluya. Kuwa na mawazo mema. Bibi anasema ndipo utakapostawi sana. Haleluya. Neno la Bwana liweke moyoni mwako. Bwana asifiwe. Neno la Bwana liweke moyoni mwako. Ningependa kusonga mbele. Sitachukua muda mrefu. Maana nikichukua muda mrefu sitamaliza. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini ningependa ku kwenda sehemu ya pili. Hiyo ni sehemu ya kwanza. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. 
sehemu ya kwanza sema sehemu ya kwanza haleluya hebu tuone matokeo wewe sasa umeamua kwamba mimi nitafikiria hivi sawa sawa haleluya mawazo mengine ya kishetani ya kijinga jinga hayanikuji umeyaweka kando umeanza kufikiria kisawa sawa hapo ndipo sasa umeanza ku attract attention ya Mwenyezi Mungu Bwana asifiwe wajua maisha ni vile ambavyo utayachukulia ukiyachukulia vibaya yatakuwa vibaya ukiyachukulia vizuri yatakuwa vizuri Bwana asifiwe hebu tusome uh, proverbs eitwaje ni midhali ama ni midhali 16 mstari wa 3 Proverbs 16:3 Mkabidhi Bwana kazi zako na mawazo yako yatadhibitika. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Mkabidhi Bwana kazi zako. Commit your ways unto God. That's what the word of God says ukimkabidhi bwana mambo yako shughuli zako bwana anasema na mawazo yako yatadhibitika so it is about you submitting to god hallelujah bwana ana uwezo wa kudhibiti mawazo yako nimewaelezea muda si mrefu kwamba shetani pia anadhibiti mawazo. Ah, jambo na nafikiria sijui kama nimefanyika ndio kwako. Wakati mwingine unaamka kwa usingizi katikati. Kwa usingizi katikati. Na huku unafikia unasifu. Yaani unampatia Bwana sifa. Kumbe ulikuwa una ulikuwa unaimba kwa ndoto. Usingizi ukikatika huku katika ya huku katikati ya sifa. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna kitu kilikuwa kinaendelea ndani yako. Wewe umelala na kumbe Bwana anakuhudumia. Haleluya. Biblia inasema mawazo yako yatadhibitika. Bwana atachukua usukani wa mawazo yako. Shetani ajapokuja hata kwa usingizi na mambo yake na njama zake, unapata umemkemea na ukamweka mahali pake. Kwa usingizi, wewe unasema una nguvu kwa maisha yangu labda amekuja kwa mambo mengine bwana anasema mawazo yako yatadhibitika ya bwana asifiwe kabidhi kila kitu kwa bwana kabidhi kwa bwana kama wataka mawazo yako yatawaliwe na bwana kabidhi mambo yote kwake haleluya kabidhi kwa bwana usiangaike angaike huku na huku mpatie bwana mawazo yako mpatie bwana shughuli zako mpatie bwana shida zako eh hey, kama wataka Mungu akufanyie mambo fulani mpatie mwambie bwana na kukabidhi kazi zangu mambo yangu yote na kukabidhi ili mawazo yangu yasiangaike angaike bwana asifiwe wakati mwingi tunataka sisi tushughulike na shida zetu Unajaribu njia hii aiendi, wajaribu njia ile aiendi. Maana umetoa Mungu, ukasema mimi nitashughulika. Bwana anasema mkabidhi Bwana. Haleluya. Haleluya. Na mawazo yako, mawazo yako yatadhibitika. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Mawazo yako yatadhibitika. Katika kitabu cha Psalms 37 mstari wa 23 Bwana ataongoza miguu yako. Haleluya. Anaanza kutenda kazi ndani yako. Bwana anaongoza ah kutembea kwako. Ah Psalms 37 Psalms Zaburi 37 mstari wa 23. Hebu tuende pale. Hatua za mtu zaimarishwa na Bwana naye aipenda njia yake Bwana asifiwe haleluya hatua za mtu hatua zako hatua ni nini kile kitu kinakufanya uishi Bwana asifiwe haleluya hatua zako ukitoka hapa 
Labda kuna mambo la unastahili kuyakamilisha hatua zako. Kesho asubuhi ukiamka hata watoto wakiamka asubuhi unaona na mabagi mgongoni wanaenda shuleni hatua zao. Wewe ndio huyo kongowe ya dogo waenda kuchukua nyanya, waenda kuchukua viazi uje uuze hatua zako. Wewe ndio huyo unaingia kule mjini, waenda kwenye ofisi, waenda kwenye hospitali, waenda kwenye shule kufanya kazi hatua zako. Haleluya. Hatua hizo ni hatua ambazo unachukua kwa sababu mawazo yako yamedhibitika ndani ya Bwana. Mawazo yako yamedhibitika ndani ya Bwana. Bwana ataongoza hatua zako. Haleluya. Eh hey, mawazo yako yawe ndani ya Bwana, hatua zako ataziongoza. Lakini mawazo yako yakiwa nje utangangana. Mimi sita kungangana. Nataka njia zangu hatua zangu ziongozwe na Bwana. Haleluya. Na inasema naye, naye ni nani? Naye Bwana ataipenda njia yake. Haleluya. Naye ataipenda njia yake, njia ile ambayo Bwana amekuandalia. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, waja waja Bwana achukue ah, nafasi maishani mwako. Hatua zako ziimarishwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ili kusudi usije ukafanya makosa. Wale ambao tu kwenye biashara tusifanye makosa kwa biashara zetu. Ah, Bwana atuongoze tufanye biashara ya sawa sawa na tupate faida ya kisawa sawa. Haleluya. Wale ambao tunafanya kazi, ukienda kufanya kazi, wanadiscover discover kwamba wewe kazi yako imebadilika maana Bwana amezibitisha hatua zako. Bwana asifiwe. Na mambo haya yote yanaanza kwa mawazo. Haleluya. Inaanza kwa kili, kwa mawazo. Wacha mawazo yako yabadilike. Haleluya. Wacha mawazo yako yabadilike. Tutakapopaya nafasi tena tutaenda sehemu nyingine na tuweze kuangalia mambo haya ambayo Bwana atuelezea. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini ningependa ukumbuke kwamba hatua zako zastahili kuimarishwa na Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Maana Bwana ameandaa mambo mazuri kwa kila mmoja wetu. Tumesoma hapa kwamba mipango za Bwana kutuhusu mpango wa Bwana kutuhusu ni mpango mzuri. Kisha anatuambia kwamba hatua za mtu zinaimarishwa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Ana mpango kukuhusu kisha anaimarisha hatua yako uweze kufikia mpango wake. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. So ningependa tuendelee kuwa positive. Stay positive at all the time and have positive thoughts. Fikiria mambo ambayo yatakujenga. Haleluya kuwa na mtazamo na mtazamo mwema wa matumaini usiangalie ingalie nyuma muangalie Bwana haleluya wacha adhibiti nia zako Bwana asifiwe hebu tusimame sote kwenye miguu na waimbaji watapanda juu hapa nataka tuende mbele za Bwana ambie Bwana aimarisha nia yangu haleluya imanisha idhibitishe Ithibitisha hatua yangu. Nifanye niwe ni mtu. Ambaye sita waza waza ovyo ovyo huku na huku. Bale nitaweka mawazo yote kwa buwana. Aleluya. Weka mawazo yako kwa buwana. Baana niye yeye ni chanzo cha maisha yako. Maisha haya uyawezi bila yeye. Na kama unafiki utayaweza. Hautaweza kwa sababu. Yeye ni Bwana, yeye ni Mungu. Haleluya. Nataka tuende mbele za Bwana waimbaji tafadhali. Thank you Jesus. Inua tu mikono yako nafsi yako, na sauti yako mbele za Bwana tumwabudu. Oh Bwana tunakupatia sifa na utukufu Jehovah. Bwana ni wewe ni wewe Bwana e Bwana ni wewe ni wewe 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 Bwana
Ukiwa na mawazo ambayo yametawaliwa na Bwana Bwana ataongoza njia zako Nataka twende mbe, uende mbele za Bwana Na umwambie maneno haya tu kwa roho yako kwamba Bwana ongoza kufikiria kwangu ili niwe na mafikira ambayo Hata nitoa kwako bali mafikiria ambayo atanisongeza kwako nenda mbele za bwana mwambie tu bwana nipe mafikira mafikira ambayo atanisongeza kwako mafikira ambayo atanisongeza kwako si nisije nikaondoka kwako maana mafikira yako yakitoa kwa bwana shetani ataleta mambo yake da, pale ndani neno limetuelezea kwamba mafikira ya Bwana kwetu anatuazia mema Shetani atakuazia mabaya Ambia Bwana atawale mawazo yako Bwana atawale mawazo yako Bwana Tawala mawazo zetu fikira zetu Bwana Tawala Bwana Tawala Bwana Maana wewe pia wawaza Bwana uko na mawazo kuhusu mambo mengi Sisi tuwe na mawazo ya leo ya sawa positive oh my god positive thinking oh my god tuwe ni watu tutakafikiria mambo mambo ambayo yanatuleta karibu na wewe e Jehova mm-hmm. oh Bwana ili kusudi uweze kuongoza nyayo za miguu zetu Bwana uweze kuleta ustawi maishani mwetu e Jehova Ni mawazo tu Bwana yanaweza kutuleta karibu na wewe ama yatuondoe Bwana karibu na wewe Bwana mchana wa leo naomba kwa ajili ya kila mmoja aliye mahali hapa Bwana wacha mawazo yake mawazo yake mawazo mawazo Shetani ameshambulia mawazo ya watu 
akawafanya wakatenda maovu na mambo mabaya wakifikideni wao wanatenda Bwana akuondolee mawazo hayo Mawazo ya kuadhibu watoto na hasira kubwa hata ukawapeleka hospitalini kwa ajili ya hasira mawazo mabaya ambia Bwana ayaondoe hasira isiyokuwa nzuri unakuwa na hasira baya mtu ayekutendea baki kuongelesha vipaya unakasirika kweli kweli wengine tunashindwa hata kula chakula mawazo mabaya yanaingia ndani yako Oh Bwana wasaidie tusaidie sisi tuko hapa Oh Bwana twalia Maana tupoku tusipokuwa na mawazo yaliyo mema Hatuwezi Hatuwezi Labda uko hapa na umepanda changamoto fulani maishani Umetamani Mawazo fulani yatoke ndani yako labda hasira zinakukujia haraka haraka Na wakati mwingine unafikiria mambo mambo mabaya labda haungefikiria kama kama ungekuwa katika hali ya kawaida Bwana akusaidie Bwana akusaidie Bwana akusaidie Bwana akupatie mawazo mazuri Bwana aondoe mawazo hiyo ya mabaya Mawazo ya kishetani yaondoke Mawazo ya Mungu yaingie E Bwana Kwa kuhitaji tu wewe Maana Bwana hatuwezi bila wewe Ulitupatia akili na akili hii ni ya kuwaza Akili hii ni ya kuwaza Bwana ukatupatia roho mtakatifu akae ndani ya mioyo yetu Atusaidie kuwaza mema Bwana Naomba mawazo mema Mawazo mema Positive thinking of God Holy Spirit, I think and I bless you. Oh Lord, I bless you. Thank you for your church. kama Bwana ataponya mawazo yako umepona Bwana akiponya mawazo yako umepona Kuna mtu hapa anasema mchungaji omba na mimi mawazo yangu nataka yapone Eh hey. Na basanta bahaba baba na busiti mawazo yako yapone Mawazo bahaba baba na busipa hana Uko hapa wataka Bwana aponye mawazo yako. Moyo wangu. Uko hapa wataka Bwana aponye mawazo yako. Eh Bwana ananena na wewe. Chanda bo kuna watu wako hapa. Na si mtu mmoja. Oh kuna watu wako hapa mawazo yamekuwa si mazuri. Usiondoke mahali hapa kama Bwana aje kuhudumia. Na kusi hata bosi pahana bo leda neno la bwana aliwezi kuja kwa watu wake bure aliwezi kuja bure kama uko hapo unataka bwana bwana neno mawazo yako hapa nilishe kimbia mbio jo hapa mbele jo hapa mbele jo hapa mbele na watu na si mtu mmoja usibaki kule maana shetani anakuwinda anakuwinda na atakuharibu bwana asipotengeneza mawazo yako shetani atakula atakuvamia vipaya jo bwana akusaidie jo bwana akusaidie jo bwana akusaidie 
kukoja maana bwana hata neno lake kwa kule uko pale unasema bwana mawazo yangu mawazo yangu mawazo yangu jesus 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 church we should never take god for granted never take god for granted we are not perfect there's nobody who is perfect and coming in front here does not display you as an imperfect person but it shows that you want god to do something to your life If you are there and you want God to work on you on your thinking just just move and come There are people I've got a confession in my heart There are many not a few people This thing is eating up families This eating this thing is eating up families Sometimes you quarrel in the homes to the point of fighting i don't want god to help you sometimes you talk to your neighbors in ways they don't even understand if you have this salvation that you talk about come god is speaking to you and you know if you don't come it is you who chooses not to come because god is here already i prayed for this word and i said let this word touch somebody's life change somebody's life father i thank you i thank you oh lord god I thank you oh Lord God because you think you also have got a mind uko na nia ya Bwana ya kufikiria kama unafikiria Bwana itakuwaje sisi tusifikirie na ni mambo yapi Bwana tunayafikiria wakati mwingine tuna mawazo mabaya tukitendewa kitu na mtu Bwana wakati mwingine wakati mwingine tunaweka hasira ndani yetu Bona simu nilitendewa yule akatendewa Na hii kitu inaua inaua kanisa Bwana tuhurumie Church Church I know I still feel a conviction in me there are people who need to be here I mean I mean God is calling you for repentance Don't stay on that seat that chair will not help you in anything god is calling to help you why should you remain in the cup of the enemy has taken capture of your mind and you don't want to lose it oh god oh god have mercy on us oh jehovah have mercy on us oh jehovah have mercy on us oh jehovah have mercy on us we have gone astray oh lord most of the times oh god we have just thought negatively oh god heal our thinking our thinking our thinking church god is a thinking god God is a thinking God. How can you remain there and assume that you don't think? Utabaki pale namna gani ufikirie kwamba wewe hauna mawazo? Bwana anataka aponye mawazo yako na wewe umebakia kwenye kiti pale unasema hauna mawazo Mungu anataka abadilishe. Bwana anasema njo. Njo ni ponye mawazo yako. Njo ni ponye mawazo yako. Johnny Pony Mawazo Yako, 
kama auje kuja hapo usio daibu ya kuja na bwana ataponya mawazo yako yafungue macho yangu na bwana ataponya mawazo yako oh jehova badilisha oh jehova oh jehova 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 wataponya mawazo ya watu ponya mawazo Bwana Bwana tutaishi vipi bila wewe kutuponya tutaishi vipi bila wewe kutuponya Jehova Jehova tutaishi vipi tutaishi vipi Oh Bwana Ana I want the whole church to come and stand here. Nobody remains on the seats can everybody just come here. Let everybody want to water to the hapa. Jo tu jo kwana jo hapa. Kila mmoja tusimame mbele za Bwana. Jo simama mbele za Bwana hata watoto wetu mje. Bwana anataka kunena kufanya kitu maishani mwako. Jo simama mbele za Bwana. Si kwamba wewe umetendwa dhambi Bwana anakuhurumia tu. Kuna jambo Bwana anataka kutende watoto wote jioni mkasimame hapa na wazazi wenu. Hata kama unanyonyesha mtoto njoo na mtoto wako. Eh, tumtii Bwana. Tumtii Bwana. Tumtii Bwana atujefanya hivi siku nyingine. Haujui Bwana anafanya jambo gani. Haujui Bwana ana mpango gani. Bwana jinsi ambavyo ulipenda kufanya Bwana angalia wamekuja mbele zako Bwana jinsi ambavyo ulipenda kufanya jinsi ambavyo ulipenda kufanya jinsi ambavyo ulipenda kufanya tenda sasa Bwana tenda tenda sasa Bwana angalia watoto hawa angalia wamama hawa angalia wazee hawa angalia watu hawa waliokuja mbele zako Bwana Bwana sema wabadilishe dia zao Bwana tenda Bwana tenda Bwana tenda Bwana tenda tenda Jehova tenda Jehova tenda Jehova tenda Jehova tenda Jehova tenda Jehova ikujiwe zaidi tenda Jehova Bwana tenda Jehova tenda Jehova kuna watu wamepona kuna watu wameponya mioyo wameponya mioyo zao Auna hisia yoyote lakini Bwana amekuponya. Yafungiwe, yafungiwe. Bwana amekuponya. Nikuone Bwana, badilisha, badilisha mawazo yangu. Asante Bwana. Asante Bwana. Asante Bwana Bwana mbona kaniadumu huyu Bwana hayana basaba hapa hapa 
Waja upendo wako Waja upendo wako Waja upendo wako kwana Waja upendo wako Roo wako kwana Roo wako kwana Roo wako kwana Roo wako wako kushukie Akabalishe maisha yake Akabalishe maisha yake Nuku huyo waka kupende kwana Ewe buwana Maisha yake ya banilike Jehova Ewe buwana Banilisha maisha yake Ewe buwana Banilisha maisha yake Ewe buwana Yafingiwe macho yake Banilisha maisha yake Ewe buwana Banilisha mawazo yake Nanda mosipa hana Inua mikono yako juu Beleza mwono Wacha mwana yako kushukie Inua tu mikono zako Beleza mwana That is submission That is submission Submit unto God Submit unto God Submit unto God There is mighty power There is a great move of God that is moving in the house Inua mikono yako tumeleza buwana Rudia nyuma yangu sema bwana Yesu mchana wa leo umenena na roho yangu kwamba niwe na mawazo yaliyo bora na mwanzo wa mawazo ni wewe unawaza mambo mazuri kunihusu si mabaya mambo mazuri nisaidie Niwe na mawazo mazuri Jinsi wewe ulivyo na mawazo mazuri Niweze kupata baraka Ambazo zinaambatana Na mawazo mazuri Niondole Mawazo mapotofu Ambayo nimeyafikiria Wakati mwingine Nafikiria ni mimi nasema kumbe ni muovu analeta mawazo mabaya bwana nisaidie mawazo mabaya yaondoke ndani yangu roho mtakatifu ingia nipatie mawazo mazuri kwa yesu nimeomba na kuamini amen tumpigie bwana makofi amen <coughs> turudi vitini kwetu just walk slowly giving god praise Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The so mighty presence of God in this place, this moment. Kuna nguvu kubwa sana za Mungu. Dakika hii ndio maana sije kuwekelea mtu mikono. Maana nilijua Bwana amekalia kila mmoja. Haleluya. Na kama tutachukua neno hili kwa uzito unaostahili maisha yetu yatabadilika. Bwana asifiwe. Maana kila kitu kinaanza moyoni. Roho zetu zikibadilika kila kitu kinabadilika ambacho kinatuhusu. Kinatuhusu. Bwana asifiwe. 
sehemu ya pili tutaendelea kufundisha uh, bwana akitupatia nafasi uh, ya kukuwa mbele zenu bwana asifiwe na mshukuru bwana kwa kila mmoja wetu hata wale ambao mmeangalia kipindi hiki na mnazidi kukiangalia kutoka sehemu zote tunawashukuru <coughs> labda kuna yeyote hapa ndani hajaokoka na mshukuru Mungu kwa ndugu Peter tumpikie bwana makofi kwa ndugu Peter yule anampenda Yesu amenishuhudia kwamba ameokoka kwa hivyo tumpende haleluya ili yale tumesoma aanze kuona pia kumbe kanisa hili ni kanisa ambalo nimejaa upendo bwana asifiwe ye ni mgeni na sijui kama ni mgeni ndugu Peter ni mara ya kwanza si mara ya kwanza kwa hivyo si mgeni hapa labda ulikuwa umeenda na umerudi uh, twakukaribisha na uketi chini ya neno la Bwana ili Bwana astawe maisha yako Bwana asifiwe sijui kama kuna mgeni yeyote ambaye yuko hapa tambue wageni ambao wametutembelea siku ya leo kwa wale ambao mnatutazama labda haujaokoka na ungependa kupata wokovu rudia maneno haya sema Bwana Yesu na kuitaji maishani mwangu uniokoe unibadilishe na jina langu uliandike kwenye kitabu cha uzima nisaidie kukuishia na kuendelea na maisha haya ya wokovu kwa Yesu sema amen na mshukuru bwana tumpigie bwana makofi kwa ajili ya wale ambao wanafuatizia kipindi hiki tunataka tutoe sadaka zetu muda wetu kidogo ume, ume, umeenda tutajaribu ku control time yetu as we move on ili tumalize ibada zetu kwa wakati nzuri e, lakini mtatupatia dakika kama kumi tutakuwa tushamaliza uh, tunataka tutoe sadaka kama nitasaidiwa na bahasha uh, mtashukuru tu sana ili niweze kutoa sadaka yangu pia na kama kuna yeyote ambaye pia anatoa kama una fungu yako ya kumi pia unatoa tutoe ili bwana aweze kubariki maisha yetu kuna account number kwa wale ambao wanaweza kuwa wanatoa kwa kwa nini iko iko hapa pay bill 991070 account 3a unaongeza aldina ili kusudi wale ambao wanahesabu pande ule mwingine waipeleke mahali pa sawa mpesa code huwa inatokezea pale kumbuka pia kuinakili
tugombe bwana tunasema ni asante kwa sadaka zetu na fungu zetu tunazozitoa mchana huu pokea na bariki watu wako kwa Yesu tumeomba atakuamini amen Naambiwa kuna mgeni ambaye <coughs> tuta tutampatia nafasi kidogo tukishatoa sadaka zetu aweze kutusalimia Naambiwa anatoka sehemu za soi soi na kujua vizuri sana maana ndio maeneo tunapita tukienda kwetu unless kama ni soi ya kwingine atuelezea fundi wa mitambo tafadhali huwa tunapenda chombo kimoja cha kuongelea kiwe hapa Asante Hebu tu mgeni mgeni yuko wapi Mgeni wa kutoka oh karibu karibu ndugu yangu karibu 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 mgeni kutoka Soi Atusalimia atuambie Tete Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Samani. Sijatoka soi mimi ni wa Mombasa lakini kutoka tarehe 29 nilisafiri mimi na ndugu yangu kuelekea Eldoret. Eh tulipofika kule tarehe 20 ilikuwa Jumamosi tukatafuta mahali kwa kulala. Mali tulilala nje kulikuwa na kanisa. So by 21st on Sunday nikamwambia ndugu yangu tujiunge pale tukaingia pale tukaabudu na by the way mimi hubarikiwa sana nikiwa chini ya madhabahu yangu lakini tangu nikanyage JCC soi kwa pastor Felix Odiambo nimepata kubarikiwa nilibarikiwa na sifa ya maabudu na hata neno bwana Yesu asifiwe na nilivotoka kule wakanipa salamu nikifika huku niwasalimie bwana Yesu asifiwe wamewasalimu kwa jina la Yesu bwana Yesu asifiwe nami tena kuingia hapa sikuwa nimejipanga kuja atoke angalia nilivovaa nilikuwa nije nitoke lakini kwa bahati nzuri ama mbaya nimepata kukaa nimehudhuria ibada nimebarikiwa bwana Yesu asifiwe nimependa sifa nimependa maabudu na mtumishi asante kwa neno bwana Yesu asifiwe amen na Mungu azidi kuwabariki ningependa kuacha neno moja wapendwa katika Ukristo kuna mambo mengi sana na siku ile ulipokiri kwa kinywa chako kuwa wewe umemtambua Kristo kuwa mwokozi wako ndipo siku ile ulitangaza vita na umu. time of unfolding grace i pray that in this time of unfolding grace god will reveal to you what he carries for you a time like this salvation is allowing jesus to begin moving in your life all that you need to know and all that you need to do know jesus and confess <laughs> 